Welcome back to the Goons Podcast. Yeah, we're here up and close in your ear. Don't fear. ASMR I am not podcast. a straight man. What's, what was what? that? That was my heart trying to kill itself. <laughs> it sounded like a cat trying to puke up a furball. Yeah. No, it, was, it was my heart trying to beat out of my chest and kill me because I had to be here and do this. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Emo kid in like math class or something. <laughs> How's your cat doing, by the way, Soup? I haven't heard about right. your cat in a while. Does he still like yeah. latch onto you like a little, she. little spider monkey? Oh, is, this she. Where we're, is this where we're starting the podcast, Soup's cat? Is that what we said? <laughs> yeah, my on? cat's good, except it, it's pretty much ruined my uh, computer chair because it claws and like, cr- like mm. uh, climbs at the back of it to. Uh, sit up here while I'm doing stuff, so. Yeah, my dad's Yeah, my cat, chair's ruined. My dad's cat did the hit to his chair. Is your chair, like, leather? Yeah. She yeah. also ruined, I don't know if I talked about this, she ruined my couch. Really? Yeah, did I tell you guys about that? On it? Dude, yeah, she shitted and pissed all over my couch. <laughs> Dude, I'm, <laughs> she did. Like, I loved that couch, too. I would sleep on that couch sometimes, dude, just, like, fall asleep watching TV in my okay. living room. Now my living room looks like the definition. Uh, it looks like one of those memes you see on Twitter. It's like boys' apartments look like this. That's <laughs> what my have living. Like lawn chairs. <laughs> yeah, I have like wooden chairs <laughs> and like it's red solo cups everywhere. I have like a, it's just like a ten thousand dollar TV and lawn yeah. chairs. That's pretty much what it is. That's exactly what it is. And, um, like a ninety dude. inch fucking Samsung eight K TV. Well, you see, I bought her one of those self cleaning litter boxes, right? And it, it was like. 200 something dollars so it's pretty expensive and uh i watched the like tutorial video on how to set it up and get everything <laughs> right and it comes with a uh like a roof like a privacy hood or some shit i don't yeah. know and it the guy was like cats like their privacy when going to the bathroom but you see the self-cleaning thing like scoops automatically so i think whenever she was in there with the hood on it started to scoop the and the hood is like enclosed so I think that she like tried to bolt out of there and, and like hit the hood and then she got mad and just shit and pissed all over my, my couch so. sorry I uh, I found out my cat has uh, cat IBS oh <laughs> so, god yeah he like is that different from the, human IBS uh kind of it just like he'll be standing there and just have to suddenly shit like it just comes out of nowhere but the worst oh is that like the problem is is he hangs out outside of my office because like if I'm recording or something I kick him out. So like he'll sit out there and like nap for like four hours just waiting for me to open the door. And his <laughs> litter box is in the laundry room, like maybe five feet from the front of my my office door. But he'll wake up from a nap, suddenly have to shit, try to walk to the litter box, but just drop a log right outside my office door. The amount of That's times great. I've almost stepped on it in the middle of the night is just fucked. You should just it's, put his litter box like right outside your door. I did. Um, it helped for a little bit, and then like because it's like it's almost like Crohn's, where it like flares up and then goes away. So like uh, he stopped doing it. So I was like, all right, I'm moving his litter box back, and he was fine for like two months. And then I just opened my door one morning, and there's a fucking turd just <laughs> hanging out, just vibing. Yeah, yeah imagine like, that God, on your cloth couch. Yeah, yeah, that's not great. But uh, yeah, those those automatic litter things are never never good. I think I already nah, talked about it when it flung diarrhea everywhere. Yeah, I, I remember <laughs> you telling us about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's only meant to like scoop up solid cat shit, and uh, one of my cats clearly ate something, and it was not solid, and it just fucking flung it oh all over the room. Oh my god! Uh, because it Were like, like what? Were you in the room when that happened? <laughs> no, I waited. So I didn't have the privacy hood on, <laughs> which was probably the mistake. But what it does, it like it like scoops it from the bottom and then like f- like almost like you know like a big dump truck, how they have like that big thing on front and then it throws it back into the mm-hmm. like back thing, like the big yeah. arm. It essentially has that, but it's like almost like a mesh. So it like picks up all hard shit and like piss clumps and cat litter, so it gets that too. But, like, because it was diarrhea and it was still wet, it just, like, went to fling it back, and it just, like, launched it everywhere. <laughs> like, it was just, like, splattered up the wall. It's so See, mine gross. doesn't go fast, though. <laughs> mine goes, like, slow and, like, scoops it slow. 
Maybe maybe they uh, maybe they had too many people complaining about their uh, cat's shotgun diarrhea being flung all over the room. Cat so they, shit. Probably, they probably had to slow it down a bit. <laughs> cat <laughs> upholding. Yes. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. So, Thank you, Dallas. So Thank you, good. Sid. But I haven't yeah. bought a new couch yet because I don't. I, like I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't bought a new couch because I'm scared if I buy one, you know, she's just going shit on it again. So maybe get, yeah. maybe just scoop your own cat litter. Maybe get a butt plug. Oh yeah, I've I've already switched back to okay. a regular. <laughs> You're gonna say, okay. oh yeah, I've already got a butt plug. No, I've already got a cat butt plug. <laughs> got like a little mouse it's on. Still hasn't been delivered yet. <laughs> that is yeah. Okay, I, I switch a, back. Um, <clears throat> I have a uh, I have a good topic we can. Uh... So we can stop talking about cat shit for. Oh, like I was, 10 I was, I was, I had a topic that involved pets, actually. <laughs> oh, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Did you? All right. Uh, have you guys any had like really bad vet experiences? I had one last year, and I don't think I've fully talked about it. And I thought it'd be a fun story to share. Let's hear it. All right. I thought I'd ask you guys first because this one's a, it's a bit of a doozy. It was pretty chaotic. But uh, this was back when I first started to like. <laughs> Uh, take my cat to the vet for his IBS, but we didn't know his IBS at the time. We thought he was just eating weird shit. Um, but my other cat had to get a shot too. So I was like, fuck it. I'll just take both cats at the same time. Make it a lot easier. And it was the worst fucking decision I've ever made. So I got there, whatever, let them both out of their carrying cases. Cause I don't know, they're pretty well behaved, relaxed cats. Like they don't, I don't know. They don't like hiss at people and like freak out and bite stuff normally. Um, so I just let him out. That's good. And because I forgot to bring a stool sample, um, they had to like put... A, like a like, turd sample? Yeah, for a, for my <laughs> no, cat like Doug. like a leg off of a stool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, had to, I had to bring an Ikea chair in. Yeah, just a whole forgot. stool. Here's a sample of one of my stools. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to bring cat shit in a bag. How about that? Um, <laughs> well, that just so, doesn't seem like a very normal request. So I'll just no, it to- is. Like, if your cat's having stomach issues... You, uh, you, they, they want you to bring in shit so they don't have to do what I'm about to explain. So to do it, okay. they have to stick a literal fucking, like, aluminum pole up the cat's ass that has, like, a little oh. thing inside where it'll just, like, scoop a little bit of shit out of their colon. Oh. Oh. And, and, they do this for humans? I don't, I, I, I'm I don't sure know, they dude. That's probably do. Probably, <laughs> probably something to ask your doctor. I will. Um, but, uh, yeah, so they're doing do. that. <laughs> and it freaked my one cat out, Doug, who has IBS. So he freaked <laughs> out. Doug. It also sounds bit- like a human that would have that IBS. <laughs> some guy named Doug. He, he freaked out and bit my other cat on the neck because he was oh. freaking out. And that scared the doctor. So he pulled out the fucking thing. And my cat just shotgun diarrhea everywhere as he pulled it out. The oh other cat God. was freaking out because it just got attacked. So it bit me. I started bleeding everywhere. And then she peed. There was literally every <laughs> single bodily function possible in that fucking room. It was <laughs> checked for... What's you that been for, have you been checked for AIDS? We have to, no. I, had no to, I, had to go, I had to go to a doctor's God. later and get Aww. like a shot and stuff because he freaked out and bit me. There's shit like bloody shit everywhere. There's fucking piss. Like, dude, it was the worst experience ever. Everyone was screaming. It's like a German like, orgy. It's, it's fucking awful. <laughs> Doctor is freaking out. He had like he had like this intern helper who was just screaming, had no idea what to do. I was just sitting in the corner, fucking massive hole in my hand from the cat's like front canine teeth. It was it was awful. It was a whole like good time. No, it's fucked. This is definitely the worst vet experience I've ever had. Like a, like a Family Guy like bit or something. I don't know. Just it was that just being in like a cartoon. Yeah, it was just pure chaos so <laughs> they don't go to the vet together anymore mostly because the one's dead but you know <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah the only thing anyway. i ever had like that is i remember uh my old dog pepper um she had a a, a false pregnancy have you guys ever had a pet that had that is that like no. basically they have a miscarriage but like <clears throat> a dog it's like their body goes through some kind of <laughs> hormonal change where their they, their body thinks that they're pregnant so it reacts as if they're pregnant, even though they're not pregnant. Mm. It's just, oh, I don't swear. Anyways, she had like, she had like boobs, like dog, like she, she was growing boobs. Like she was like, cause you know how when dogs have 
a baby in their stomach. Puppies their boobs and, like, grow and they get, like, get all weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we took her Dog to the doctor. Boobs. So we thought she was pregnant. And then uh, they're like, no, she's not pregnant. She just. But I remember it wasn't really like as gross as yours. But I remember he like went to squeeze her nipple. And mm. he squeezed it and it shot milk out so far. Probably like six feet of milk. It's like, oh, it's like, what the a fuck? world record. He was like, yeah, she's dog she just full of milk. milk. <laughs> yeah, she had like big boobs. It was weird. But yeah, that's really the only thing I've ever experienced. Why do you describe it like that? Yeah, that's because my like dog had these uh, massive man, milky tits. Mommy uh, milkers. <laughs> Just my dog had vascular tits, just tiggle bitties on that bitch, and I don't mean woman. All right, that is. Thank you for uh, explaining your dog's milky tits to us in such great detail, Nasty. <laughs> You're welcome, babe. One time, my dog Rebel just pissed on the door of, of the vet. That's pretty he just, sick. Just like pissed all over the door inside. His name just probably really happens a lot. It's and what he, he thinks of the vet? The, uh, yeah. Yeah, he growled at the lady. It was pretty funny. What kind of dog yeah, they, is he? He's like golden retriever chow mix. Rebel kind of looks weird. He looks funky. Like he's cute <laughs> right, as fuck, but he looks like his breed mix is just. <laughs> your dog look weird. <laughs> yeah, a funky <laughs> ass dog. Boy. Yeah, 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 your your, your kid dog looks probably stupid. has autism. You fucking <laughs> fart on it so much. You yeah. are literally an animal abuser. I yeah, cannot actually, say one true. negative thing about you without you just like ripping back into me immediately. You're That's talking true. shit about my dog. People love my fucking dog. I, I, I literally just said he's adorable, but I said his breed just doesn't yeah. like look like a dog. It looks. No, you said, said, even said he look weird. Yeah. Yeah. Dog doesn't like you fart on your fucking dog, McNasty. Like when you see a dog, most of the time and you can easily be like, "Oh, that's that kind of dog." <laughs> Rebel doesn't really look like a certain type of dog. He just looks like a a mixture of dog. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's a fucking that's, he is that's a mixture a of dodge. A lot of dogs no look problem like with that. that. I love every dog. I don't care if that dog. I don't care if he's shaved and he's got a bloody line going down his back. What do you guys think line. about uh, hairless cats? <clears throat> Dude, I love them. They're sick. It's like pet they never sack, gross me out. I've never been they're around like a, 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 a <laughs> naked cat. Dude, what'd you say, dude? They're ugly. <laughs> That's the only thing you say. They look ugly. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker's gross. It's one Kill nasty motherfucker. <laughs> no, like, I've never it, seen a hairless cat in person. Only like there, I wonder if I'd be bingus. allergic to a hairless cat. No, you I'm, wouldn't. I'm, that's why people get them. No. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Then that's the one pet I could probably have because half my family's yeah. allergic to like all all mammals essentially. So we we've never had any pets. <laughs> dude, you know you guys are mammals. <laughs> you have a mammal allergy. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, dude. Horses, like, dude, gerbils, like dolphins. Swim in the ocean and a whale comes around, you start sneezing underwater. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dolphin just giving you red eyes. <laughs> There's dolphin dander in the water making me sneeze. Dolphin dander. Oh god. It's yeah. so weird well, to me that dolphins will like fuck other fish. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that weird? Yeah, they just use them as. I mean, it's just nature's. Because dolphins don't like. They, they, yeah, dolphins they just don't. Use a flashlight. It's just a they fuck. They fuck for pleasure, so they'll fuck like anything. They won't just fuck their own species. Yeah, yeah they like just monkeys, like monkeys, bro. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought you were going somewhere else with that. You just, they just <laughs> rape. <laughs> I don't think that fish have the ability to consent, Mister the Dew. Especially not the dolphins. No, no, it is actually way. no. It, it is a genuine issue in the animal kingdom. Like it, penguins especially are brutal. They will like literally. They will literally <laughs> kill a woman and fuck her. What? Like, I'm not kidding. That is They'll that is damn. normal wait, wait. penguin behavior. I thought they had like monogamous relationships and they were all cute and shit. They're out no, here just no, raping will, each other. No, they will literally gang this, rape. Oh my god. A female penguin. I don't remember I'm seeing not, that on Happy Feet. Yeah. I <laughs> Happy I Feet was a product of one. To show you, I'm gonna rape your ass. Like what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not getting I kill your mom and fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is what the movie's uh, about. They should, they not, should put that in like the bloopers. I'm not laughing about it. <laughs> they rape. should like not put that in the bloopers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's not even a joke though. It is a genuine fact. The animal kingdom is is just fucked. Like, but what do you can't you can't well, put I mean, a fucking, fucking animals like yeah, you can't put yeah, a, really you can't surprising. put a penguin in jail. It's not yeah. You can't fucking give a felony out to a gorilla. Well, the thing is like when animals like that do stuff like that, it's not. They do that out of like it's just their instincts. It's their, the way oh, that yeah. their they DNA don't know is better. wired. Yeah, they're they're a fucking animal. Exactly. So yeah, there's no I, penguin. I, like I said, no penguin prison. Although I really it would be thought cute McNasty, penguin prison. 
I really thought McNasty was going to do the architect's riff when you said they're just it, animals. It would not be cute. A penguin prison, they'd have like face tattoos and be like lifting weights. <laughs> be some scary be. ass penguins. <clears throat> some penguins don't even have the white front, they're just all black. Okay. All right. What the fuck? That's, How did you dun, dun, manage to go? Dun, 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 no, dun, now dun, it's dun, too late. <laughs> <laughs> we've, already, we've already moved on from they're just animals. <laughs> I, I hate you so Next much. Topic! What was your wait? What yeah, was your what topic? Was your topic? <laughs> oh, 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 it was. Uh, I feel like I kind of already really know the answer to this one, but hypothetically, if you had a child, what's something you would want to make sure to teach them, or something you wish your parents taught you? Anybody want to start this one? It's a big job to be a pro right? gamer. All I would, right, I would wait, definitely want to teach my kid answers. guitar like as soon as possible, 100%. or just music in general. Yeah, I'd probably start well, him on piano, to be honest. I'd probably the send him to issue- an all-penguin <laughs> college. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, Let them figure I, it out on their own. I feel like the only issue with, like, trying to get your kid to do something is, like, they will grow to hate it if you don't do it the right way. Like, I feel like the best way is just introduce them to something mm. and then let them want to do it on their own terms. But if you, like, buy your kid a guitar and are like, I'm putting you in guitar Ooh. lessons, and they have no, like... Interest of their own. They're I wouldn't have to do that. I could teach it. my own kid how to play guitar. Yeah, well, I just mean, it, for example, like if you just like force them into something, because like that's how I started with hockey. My dad like made me play hockey, and I fucking hated it, um, because he made me. And then like, as I grew up, I, I started liking it on my own, and that's when I wanted to do it more. But like, I don't know. I feel yeah. like parents like yeah. being like, I really like this thing, so you have to kind of fucks fucks with your kid <clears throat> wanting true, to yeah. do that thing. Well, they don't have I to. I just like, feel like though, if you're Go ahead, dude. I was gonna say they don't have to full send. You don't have to put them in like full on summer camp violin lessons and stuff. Oh, you can yeah, just yeah, sort yeah. of like, l- like have the instruments around and see if they show an yeah. interest. And they see your parents playing, and they want to be like your parents, so maybe they'll take in that sort of a thing. You know? Yeah, that's definitely yeah, the I best had, way to do that. If I had a parent like my dad or somebody that was like a shred god, like I, I probably would have wanted to like. Well, I mean, I already know how to play guitar, but I feel like I probably would have wanted to become that good like sooner. Well, that's um, that. That's kind of my story. Is like I, I started on violin forcibly and I hated it. So like what Blog was saying, I absolutely hated it. Uh, and then because my dad was in bands for like twenty years and played guitar for most of his life, that's why I wanted to start. You know, he didn't. He didn't like put a guitar in me and be like with a whip and be like, "Play, son." Put a guitar you know? in you. <laughs> you shoved the entire squire headstock up dude's ass. <laughs> oh God, the way the squire headstock sh- shaped too. I know. Head yeah, shot. that's a big one. Head shot. <laughs> Doesn't yours have like the 60s strat head too, the big old bulbous on the end? Just yeah. the fucking. <laughs> but yeah. I feel like a Telecaster would probably be the easiest one to yeah, show. Yeah, that's, that's what I was mm-hmm. saying. <laughs> Pretty smooth. Can you make a tier list of <laughs> easiest headstocks to put up your ass? Dude, the worst one? BC Rich. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Dean like would be pretty warlock. bad too. Dean would be, yeah, that's pointy, dude. <laughs> have you not seen the, like, the, the BC Rich Warlock one? Uh, and they got like the I point. Know I have but I like have the to. devil even, points on the end. Even a Jackson yeah, would be oh, yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah. Dean is though too. Yeah, the Dean is like two pointed, like a V kind of. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like a Dean, like an ML. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Tier well, list. We'll, we'll, we'll get working on a tier list for <laughs> next podcast. Would hurt the worst in your ass. <laughs> Are the tuning pegs on or off? Because that makes a difference. If you got like big locking tuners versus like little oh, yeah, regular true. ones, like we'll need two different tier lists now: one for tuning pegs and one for not. With and without tuning pegs. <laughs> All right, we'll get working on that for the next podcast. We'll, we'll be back with that information. <laughs> um, <laughs> what was the question again? What would you teach your kids or whatever? Oh yeah, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> God, I still. <laughs> uh, you really just just left that halfway, huh? <laughs> it uh, was some dude, deep I shit. Know. I remember. <laughs> some deep shit. That what no would you gives teach your kids, about. or what do you wish your parents taught you? I I'll just introduce my kids to stuff and let them show interest. And yeah. if not, then it is what it is. You know. Well, I mean, there has to be something that you want specifically to teach your kids, not just. I'm just going to introduce them to 50 things and hope they pick up at least one of them. Me too. Well, I mean, like, obviously I'm going to teach them things that I like, or show them things that I'm interested in, but, you know, I'm going to let them figure their shit out like on their own. Dip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. dip and shotguns. Get learning. <laughs> Maybe you should show your kids your thumbnails, McNasty, and see what they think about God. them. Maybe I told you, you should not say anything <laughs> negative to Super that instantly <laughs> bouncing back. Well, what do you want him? Just take it like a bitch? He's going to dish yeah, it back out. Yeah. <sighs> 
fuck yeah, yeah. Like I want him to take it like a bitch. Take it like a bitch in a maid fuck dress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you cancer. Uh, good times, good times. <laughs> You're cancer. Okay, we're we moving on topics or somebody else getting into question? Do I know? I'm still did trying bar, to think. Did, did Barg an- Yeah. What, what would you- I, I'm not even letting anyone answer. <laughs> hey, anybody you asked me directly. Just <laughs> making fucking squeaky noises. Go ahead, I, Lar! I, I, I don't know. Honestly? Ask you, are you gonna help your kids with their homework, or- Fuck are you no! Gonna, well, yeah, because you don't know how to do out. it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> It's Impossible. gonna be JK, he's gonna have to like try to color in the lines for them and just give up and pull them out of school. Just raise them like a wolf child. They're gonna bring like their first grade math homework, like <laughs> worksheet back and math. It's just an... uh, Dad, Dad, can you help me? I don't fucking know how to do that. I can't do geology. I can make racist jokes. That's about it. <laughs> Wait, just gotta write the n-word on it and send it back to class. <laughs> fucking okay. horrible parent. <laughs> Uh, well, that makes my answer look pretty good. I was gonna say probably like, I don't know. I wish my parents would have like put me around more cultures growing up, if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> like I no, I live in a I live in a little small ass white town. Like we are like the only Arab on my fucking street. We had a black neighbor, but dude, like small town syndrome is fucked. It, it genuinely is. I know it sounds like a meme, but it is so. Are you shitty. just a small town girl? Yep, exactly. Small town syndrome just, like, fucking see your parents sucks. Taking you like to a, a Native American like tribal meeting when you're like five <laughs> years old. <laughs> no, more so we like traveling and you. shit to like places like other than fucking Disney World and like show you that there's more than white people hanging out. You know, I don't know. I just really fucking hate small town syndrome. Well, most parents have like full time jobs, so like. Traveling well, abroad is kind of hard to do. Yeah. No, like, I'm you can't just, just like, talking about my. I'm Africa talking about my specific situation. <laughs> five days a week. I'm talking about my specific situation where my parents could have easily done stuff like that. Just to show but you that other did. races exist too. <laughs> God, I, <laughs> I give up. You know, Dad, there'll be you one person in the comment section that'll be like, "Yeah, I agree. That's dope." And you know what? That. That person's great. You guys. You know suck. what, Blarg? I thought McNasty was gonna have the stupidest fucking answer, but I think he takes. <laughs> I said stand stupid answer. Wildly corrected. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro. Go hang out with more white people in the fucking inbred forest you live in. All right. <laughs> Why don't you go hang out with more meese? Meese? <laughs> <laughs> Is that multiple it took me a moose? I what the fuck you just said. <laughs> yeah, I, was saying, what? I just had a stroke while he was talking. <laughs> Dude, what do you even I, mean, Blarg? Your fucking seen a dad owned a chain of grocery stores, right? That's like the yeah. fucking breeding ground for different cultures no, and people. It was all pot. like it was <laughs> I, up until the last Wait, one. It was ground. all like in it was all in like posh ass. Like, <laughs> you want to Blarg? If you want to meet people from different cultures and see how other people, you know, <laughs> act, go to Walmart. <laughs> go Walmart to any Walmart. Is hell. Exactly. exactly. That's what people do. Are, that that is. Are you, that are you is, saying Walmart that other cultures epitome, are hell? That is the epitome of people I, I, around, like if, the culture if, around, and other if, people. If you ever want, I don't think that's just trash. I don't think that's like. I think that's just every every like low tier trash person from every race goes there. That's not yeah. a good indication of what those people are like. Look at the that fucking such, white people oh at Walmart, God. bro. We got Bill Nye out there, and if you what judge you every say? white person off, I, I, off Walmart, I'm not saying the white people are any better at Walmart. I'm saying all collectively are shit. It's yeah. Walmart. Yeah. Yes, it's bottom of the barrel of every race. I think yeah, we can all you, agree with exactly. that. You get the best taste of. Everything. That, that's the you worst just, taste that's of everything. That's the worst taste of everything, actually. Exactly. You go to Walmart, you go to Walmart, and you experience how shitty everybody is, and you're like, well, it's got to be up from here. So, like, I've experienced the worst, so I know up. that there's better. Wait, exactly. but, if that's your, there's wait, no- <laughs> but if that's your first impression of a race, isn't that going to lead to, like... Yeah, extremely <laughs> racist. Well, yeah, if you're fucking stupid and base <laughs> everyone in there stereotypes... There is a lot of stupid people. But if Let's he only goes out. to... If he only goes to Walmart, that's all he knows. <laughs> why would you not just go to the better part of that race? Yeah, why yeah, exactly? The- why would you not just like go to more like okay. awesome Indian okay. restaurants or something? Okay, let me ask you. All right. Like instead we're, of going to Africa to and go, showing the African uh, culture, we're just gonna go to Detroit. <laughs> hey, Detroit's great. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Goddamn boy. <laughs> just go to Walmart, bro. 
Yeah, All right, there we go. That's the yourself. hot. I'm that's not the taking hot my tip. kid to Walmart for nope, a cultural nope, appropriation. That's, that's, the, that's the hot that's tip that I the girls are giving today. <laughs> the hot tip. If you want to be more cultured uh, and more rounded as an individual, yeah. go to Walmart. You will come out of Walmart a better person. <laughs> Dude, I can't tell you how many times I've went into Walmart and I, I come out wanting to fucking end it all. And you know what? You you get stronger from that. There have been times in the Walmart parking lot where I'm like, dude, I'm about to floor it 80 miles per hour through the front door and blow up and die. Maybe, you know maybe what? that's what I don't happened do to it. Skillet. He was just on his way home from Walmart. But I don't do it. I don't do it. You You're know so why? brave. Because you got to... Yeah. <laughs> You're a patriot soup. <laughs> soup is braver than the Marines. <laughs> Didn't kill himself after Walmart. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. You go there and you experience the fucking worst of the worst and you yes. come out stronger. Yeah, if you want to feel like you won the genetic lottery, go walk around Walmart for a while. Exactly. Genetic lottery. <laughs> Walmart is just Darwinism in action. Dude, it is. It they say is missing Walmart links don't exist. I mean, go walk around Walmart, bro. <laughs> Tell me that you've ever been to Walmart one time and have been like, you know what? That was great. I'd, I'd love to go back. No. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> I, I've gone twice in the last month because it's the only thing that's open right now around me. Like, everything but grocery stores and Walmart is closed. <laughs> it's fucking hell. Like, I'm trying exactly. to move and needed house stuff. Going to Walmart and everything there is just dog shit. Everything about that place is hell. Yes, oh, I bro. hate it. My 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 brother did security at a Walmart for a little oh, while. Oh no, I couldn't do it. Does yeah. he have any good stories or like you know anything that's happened? Um, Bring him on the podcast to talk about Walmart. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I was surprised at, like, you know how they have those people who stand at the doors at Walmart? Um, yeah. As, like, security? Nice. <laughs> I was surprised at, like, ha just how much theft there is in Walmart, actually. Like, people shoplift like crazy there. Yeah. Um, Stealing from Walmart isn't a crime. It's a public service. Because fucking, like, everything, you know? Hey, what, are you just, like, Robin Hood if you steal from Walmart? Because they're just such oh, a... Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, those um, are patriots. How? Yeah. What? Because they're Walmart. such a big corporation? Is that what you Yeah, they're just. Yeah, no, they're just scum. I don't fucking. I don't <laughs> fucking care. If I saw somebody walking out of there with a seventy-inch TV they didn't pay for, I would not say a word about it. Yeah, no. Speaking well, of, yeah, like, I mean, yeah, uh, I'm not gonna say a word, but I'm still gonna be like, yeah, that person's a piece of shit. No, I don't fucking care. <laughs> if you steal from like a like local like family-owned business, you are like bottom of the barrel scumbag piece of shit. But like the fact the that like. Yeah, no, it's yeah, definitely but someone that lot, still but someone that steals from Walmart is is gonna turn around and go steal from a family-owned business too. They don't care. Yeah, th they're, they're not gonna be like, ah, oh, this is a big corporation. That, like they don't have the brain capacity of something like there that. There is actually they, a they hilarious fucking... amount of people that do actually just go to Walmart, take shit, and not do it at any other place. Like that is like <laughs> that is, is like a subreddit for that. That is literally that, that is yeah, literally you know Gen steal? Z culture. Is that like a cult? Our <laughs> yeah, they just that. steal from only Walmart. Like, <laughs> I mean, you, I'm, you could probably steal from Target too. I don't know. I don't. I don't no. know what. The, I don't know what their what their laws are. What their uh, subculture. Can we just laws trigger are. something in you? Do why'd you get so defensive? Yeah, he really likes Target. Target. I do. No. He owns half the Target chain. I'm gonna steal from Chick Fil A. <laughs> That's um, do, do you guys have any of those like uh, shopping centers where there's like a Target and a Walmart right next to each other? Um, no. Um, no, I don't think it, so. It's incredible the difference in like quality of human. It it just just like a <laughs> hundred feet of human. Uh, uh, let's just like a hundred feet Factory apart in two different human, stores. Well worn. <laughs> yeah, mint condition human in Target and very scuffed human in Walmart. What a difference, bro. Mint condition human. Is it just like a newborn baby? <laughs> Factory new I baby. I would not say all yeah. all babies come out mint condition. No. Battle scarred baby. <laughs> Like Down syndrome or... Okay, no, we didn't have to say Abortions it. Abortions are just a trade-up contract. <laughs> what the... Oh, my God. You can't give 30 <laughs> dead fetuses for a brand new one. That's not a trade-up contract. You can try. I'll trade you three aborted babies for your functioning baby thoughts. <laughs> now, here, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Hear me out. What if you take those abortions, sell them to a stem cell research company, take the money, and then go to an adoption center... And get a perfectly fine baby. I don't. I don't think you're allowed Trade to contract. do that. Trade a contract for a new man. I don't, I, 
I don't think you can just like farm commercial. Seems seems really illegal. I don't think you can just like farm babies. Like a three a.m. infomercial. But <laughs> trade to your baby. fetuses. We'll get you a whole well, new kid. Oh, you trade up, baby. <laughs> Uh, anyway, good times, is, good times. Stop doing that. I daddy hate that. That is the worst. I don't care. Kiss me on the mouth. No. Puke your dinner into my mouth. <laughs> oh. It's like a very bluesy little baby bird. Mama puke into my mouth. Okay, what's the next topic? <laughs> yeah, we're such good podcasters. Uh, <clears throat> this is awful. We are uh, good at Goons Podcast. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm looking through our, our comments. He's Who's the weirdest person you've ever met? It's me. I uh, think it's me. I, I don't know. I haven't. We haven't technically met you. So yeah, yeah, I don't know the full extent of you until I meet you in person. Although I feel like yeah, no, exactly. nothing's going to be different. Well, I feel like no, I'm taking like the word person. "met" a little bit too like. I I would say literally. meet means in person. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Meat okay. is meat. Vegan. <laughs> don't try and change the definition. Vegan doesn't know what meat is. <laughs> fucking yeah. bear, I see that. <laughs> um, I don't know. Probably some fuck. Actually, I don't know. Do homeless people count? Like they're just their own breed. You can meet a homeless. I, don't, person. I mean, it's a person. I don't think I've ever met a <laughs> normal like a frog or something. <laughs> I've never met a normal homeless person though. I've never met one that's just been like, "Hey man, what's hey. up?" It's always like, <laughs> I, I need just a, just, just, just a dollar for crack. Just a dollar for some crack. I don't. Was that Mr. Mr. Krabs somewhere in there? Mr. Krabs is homeless now. I had a homeless dude call out to me who had pit. Actually, this was really impressive. In San Francisco, there was a homeless dude sitting on a sidewalk, and this dude had pissed himself to such an extent that it leaked from the (laughs) sidewalk all the way across the street. This dude pissed so much, dude. He called out to me, and I was like, "Hey!" So I met him. He was weird. (laughs) Actually, why would you go to meet that person? Why would you say, "Hey, bag"? I would just. Walk away. He said something like, "Hey, you're sunny." I was like, "Hi, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm peeing, made, boy." You <laughs> just made out with him and called it a day. I'm looking at you in the eyes while I'm peeing. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> My name's Stu. How are you? Yeah, I'm Twenty bucks. <laughs> nah. You hear a cool song? Watch out for the piss river. Step over. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he pissed a lot. Though. He was weird. Dude, yeah. I have a question for you. What? Have you ever been hit on by a gay guy? Yes. Like, I, like genuinely, like a gay yes. guy wants to like fuck your asshole. Oh, I he wasn't that forward, but yeah, I, I was told <laughs> that. What? Uh, nothing. No, carry on. It's funny. Okay. Yeah, I was hit on by a dude at, at the food court in a mall one time. Uh, really? Yeah, this was when I was in high school. Um, I. Okay, I don't want to. Okay, I won't describe what I looked like, but the dude, uh, the dude, <laughs> told he came up to me. I was hanging out with some friends, and he came up to me. He's a complete stranger. And he just came up to me, and he was like. Wow, your hair is really pretty. And And it changed you forever. And that's when I realized I like men. No, but it was... (laughs) No, no, seriously, (laughs) no. 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 (laughs) Um, yeah, that... I think that's the only time I've ever been, like, straightforward hit on a man. I've had, like, dudes check out, like, that looked like that. I should probably stop talking. They looked like they were probably gay. <laughs> that's fine. That's, that, that, some people would argue that's a compliment. I don't want to get canceled. <laughs> then I just don't assaulted. say retard. You said a lot worse than this. I got assaulted <laughs> I mean, you're one good. time. You got assaulted? You got assaulted? Yeah, yeah I got assaulted at a uh, at a Facebook hey, gay party. Gay? I don't. I, I'm pretty sure it was a guy, and I'm well, hold on. Like, <laughs> like sexually assaulted. Sh- yeah, and I'm pretty oh. sure he was gay based off of off what, of what it, like, he did. Grip onto your long ass hair and just like pull no, your neck back, so like, kissing you. There was like we were at this Facebook party, and like DJ Khaled was doing some like little concert thing, and I was Gross. like, I was yeah, I was, already I was a bad fucking, start. Yeah, I was fucking hammered because all the like alcohol and everything was free, so I mean you could just drink <laughs> as much as you wanted and you didn't have to pay for anything. So, you know, I was like. Blurred, pretty much. I wasn't like blackout, but I was borderline like, you know, seeing like a slideshow of life. Yeah. And I was walking down this aisle, and I'm show of life. And, yeah, <laughs> like I don't. Like snapshots. I, I, I can't thing. remember. Yeah, like it took like like ten seconds to register what had happened, 
But I'm walking down the aisle of this like little concert hall thing. Some dude walks up to me and full on grips my nuts, dude. <laughs> like just full on <laughs> grabs me like hard for like a, a solid like. I don't even know, dude. Like, uh, long enough for me to realize what was happening. Three hours? <laughs> <laughs> He's in bed later. Just, like, dude, guy still has I, his like, hand wrapped around his balls. And, I, like, it, it registered, like, someone's grabbed my nuts right now. And I, like, looked, and it was like they vanished. And I, like, turned around to, like, see where they had went. And I didn't even, like, see their face or see who it was. But, dude, they full-on just, like, grabbed me. Just out that of nowhere. Is- that is not. not <laughs> is it like Batman or something? I was like, I don't even. Look up, he's gone. You see, like, like an open window know. and the curtains are all flowing. But I was so drunk, I was like, dude, did I like? Did I just let that happen? <laughs> Maybe you're so drunk that you grabbed your own balls for like thirty no, seconds. No, it was definitely like, someone. Oh, wait, it was definitely he's someone grabbing else. his own balls. Hey, what do you think you're doing? But see, the thing is, though, is that it was like a, it was a streamer only party. Like you, I, I'm pretty sure you had to like so some famous well, then streamer. That, then you that had makes, to be even, like a that makes even more sense. Like yeah. you had you had to be like a Facebook streamer to get in or something. So I don't know who it could have been. <laughs> I don't know. I, I couldn't name more than one Facebook streamer. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. It was really weird, and I didn't know what to do. So I just kind of. <laughs> you should next time as a defense mechanism, just piss your pants when you think somebody's <laughs> holding on to your balls. That would that would surely work. <laughs> yeah, it was very uncomfortable, but uh, yeah, it happened. So well, thanks for opening up about that. Was even that. the topic? <laughs> was even the topic about this? What, Are you wearing you a trucker it? hat? No, I don't think so. Oh come on! Would oh. that have made the story better? You ruined yeah. his fantasy about this whole thing. Yeah, I'm, the immersion's completely gone now. No trucker hat. Can't imagine where a world where soup does not wear. Can you please get hats. sexually assaulted? How I want you to get sexually assaulted <laughs> yeah. in the future. <laughs> McNasty <laughs> thinks every hat that isn't one of them, like, fucking lame-ass wannabe skater boy hats is a trucker hat. What is a lame-ass wannabe skater boy hat? Those hats that you the wear that have, DC like... puffy hats? <laughs> no, not... Th- that's actually a trucker hat. I wear a plain black fucking hat all the time when I was talking about. Yeah, you think every hat that doesn't look like one of yours is a trucker hat. <laughs> no, you literally wear a fucking trucker hat. Turbans? That's, it's trucker in your hats. logo. <laughs> it's in your fucking logo. You wear trucker hats. You have a Mountain Dew trucker hat, don't you? I don't like yeah, the way you say trucker. A difference, <laughs> it sounds racist. A trucker hat is just the hat that has the fucking mesh plastic on the back, right? Pretty much what a trucker hat is. Stop saying it like that. <laughs> let's, trucker hat. Let's, let's move on. Can we talk about something <laughs> else? Anything. <laughs> Nobody, we didn't even really get, get answers for the question. What was the like question? Like the weirdest people you've met. Oh. Weirdest people you met. Well, I don't want to... It's literally just like homeless people or, or yeah, meth I don't, addicts. Well, the thing is, I, like, I've met some... Honestly, some of the weirdest people I've met are like people like at parties like Soup was talking about, like Facebook parties and shit. Like, there's a lot of fucking weirdos in the YouTube community. Yeah. But like that makes it hard because I'm not about to name drop some yeah. fucking people. There's definitely some like, weird people I've met in our community that I'm not gonna mention. Yeah. Yeah. My problem so is I don't, is I don't go outside ever, so I don't really like meet well, anybody in general very often. Fucking depressing. Yeah. There was some guy who was talking about I was in a gas station and he was in line behind me talking about he wanted to coom all over the, the cashier woman. He was kinda <laughs> weird. Isn't that the worst? Like <laughs> little like little conversations you have with people in like the line at the store because you can't really escape nope the conversation because you're waiting in line yeah he was like talking <laughs> like, over me i was like i was like 14 15 years old and the, the cashier i guess was like <laughs> moderately attractive and he's just like yeah i want to coom all over you bitch very <laughs> very awkward <laughs> you should have volunteered as tribute to him i'm good he was 14. <laughs> oh, wait. I didn't hear that part. <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> well, if he was a YouTuber, he probably would have done it. <laughs> uh, anywho. I don't, I don't uh, have a next topic prepared. <laughs> oh. Come on, we're, we're YouTubers. We're snappy-ass YouTubers with snappy-ass witty jokes. What is the next topic? Boom. Boom. Animal. Boom. Um, Boom. What a- um, animal Boom. would you be? Boom. Oh, my God. Spaghetti or meat. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> We suck at podcast. We do. Can we retire? <clears throat> we should just like spend the last twenty minutes just stretching and making like dad noises and stuff. Oh yeah. I'd be, would you guys be interested mm. in, a, in a in a quiet dad noise segment? Leave a comment. 
I got the best dad noise right here. There you go. I just I just imagine just a dildo putting... on the end of a drill. Why? Oh, have you never seen that? Why is that your first imagination? I don't know. Yeah, it's I've, I've, I've... <laughs> okay, hold on. There's a name. Huh. <laughs> <clears throat> Topic. What? And hold on, I, I want to hear about. The, I wanna, hold on, I want to hear about the drill though. Why do you? Where did you see the name for that? Why is know, that? It's in like a really old siege video. That somebody brought it up. I don't know. Drill That's that's weird. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> dangerous. Are weird man. <laughs> yeah, it Don't does. It. Soup head question. Is it time for my question now? <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> have you guys ever had any like business ideas? Um, Next topic. <laughs> well, well, I know you no. haven't, McNasty, because you're fucking stupid. Yeah, you're McNasty about as dumb as a pile of fucking ideas. dirt. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. My business idea was YouTube. Um, I mean, like, I, I <laughs> like an invention go... or like something. Jesus <sighs> Christ! <laughs> Just, have you had <laughs> any idea of anything, McNasty, ever? Uh, I wish that I could fly. That's flying cars is what are. Nasty <laughs> wants to are are one of the stupidest people cars. I've ever met. <laughs> Mister. Mister. Okay. Man. You are fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but you love me. Ooh. What? Next topic! <laughs> what? I, I, Blar, nobody wants to talk about it? I, Blar, I, go I, ahead. Um, I don't know. I, I, I was going to start a phone case company with one of my good friends. We were going to do... Uh, I don't know, we both really liked cars, and, like, we were going to base it off, like, car interiors. So, for people that, like, have any mm. sort of exotic cars and, like, cool. have, like, a brown leather interior with, like, a logo stitched on, we were going to make something, like, a phone case to match that. That was my only... That was a, that was, that was a business mosquito. idea. See? Yeah. See? That's wholesome and cool. It's ambition that's, and intelligence. That's all I was asking. <laughs> well, I mean, if you have more than nine Nasty IQ, made a you big can... deal out of it. The, <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> McNasty, how about this? Huh? Why? What? How, wouldn't you want to have your own line of guitars or something? You know, you're so pi you're yeah. so picky about guitars. There's something you could do. Well, I mean, yeah, but that's like that's so like what far fetched. I don't but know. Not it doesn't far fetched. Not really. Not really. It's it's wood. <laughs> what do you mean? It doesn't I mean, matter if it's far fetched it's or not. I mean, like, like have you ever like had an idea to like make something better or create something? Yeah. I feel I like I like have at that. some point, and I just don't, like, remember. It's like like one of those things where you're, you're currently experiencing, like, an annoying situation. You're like, man, I wish they would make it this way. And then you don't really, like, think about it after that, because it's like, you know, you live in your dad's garage on a mattress on the floor, and you don't have any money to support the business, so you just forget about it and play Overwatch for, like, 10 hours straight. You are the most depressing human being depressing. I've ever talked about. That is just depressing. <laughs> you are just Dude, the worst. Before YouTube, I had a fucking very depressing life. I'll tell you that right now. It sounds like it is depressing now. You just have a little bit of money. <laughs> nothing is <laughs> changed. <laughs> well, I was going to say that <laughs> my business idea that I had, and I was thinking about it last night, but I don't know if it, it, would, it would ever really be doable. But I think that if it could be doable, it would be kind of a, a neat idea. Flying cars? Close. I was oh. thinking of like a like a a gym that is free membership and you get paid for coming in and working out. Yeah. Because all of the equipment is hooked up some kind of way. I don't know how it will be doable, but like hooked up to mine cryptocurrencies. Like you, you power. <laughs> Well, no, yeah, I know it. I no, know no, it's something. like a, a weird, like crazy uh, idea that it would be really hard to do. Oh, there's something here. But like, I think that that would be a, a cool thing if it would be possible. Yeah, because something somewhat similar to that has been done, but with like electricity. Like <laughs> you, like they had a massive gym, um, and like they, I don't know how much they paid or anything. They didn't give any details, but like you'd get like points or payment for working out there because it would power the right. electricity of the building and stuff like it was hmm. just it's a similar concept yeah. something like that except like it would like people that would work out like run on a treadmill like a hamster and it would power <laughs> like a way to fucking mine bitcoin or something i know that that would like probably be insanely hard to engineer and cost yeah, a fuck probably. ton of money but like is it legal know. to mine bitcoin is it like it's, a thing? No, like it's perfectly yeah, legal. It's, it's it's legal. 
Yep. People buy warehouses and fill them up with computers just to mine Bitcoin. There's yeah, there's like oh. GPUs specifically made for Bitcoins. Like they have like yep. like they made uh, they started doing it in like the 10 series. Uh, the most popular one was a 1070 GPU, but there was no like HDMI ports. Like it's strictly made for mining Bitcoin. So it's hmm. it's actually like a real full on business. Hmm. I wonder yeah. what the yep. process of Bitcoin mining is. Like, it's like, so, it's like Bitcoin isn't like a thing you can hold in your hand. So it's like weird that. You're just using your computers to like. It, it's essentially read just. Data or something. Yeah, you're literally just like solving algorithms, essentially, which. Yeah, that's what it, it is. You're literally creating like a Bitcoin out of. Like, there's X amount of Bitcoins to still be mined. There's just an easier word for it. Um, and you just, as your computer solves algorithms, you can mine parts of it and eventually get yourselves like bitcoins but it's it's an insane process that is extremely difficult now because so many people do it yep. um but like back in the day like if you started mining bitcoin in like god i don't know like 2011 2012 um you would be unbelievably rich like you'd be able to get bitcoins extremely easy whereas now you mine for like a year and get like half a bitcoin it's mm. it's pretty insane i don't know but I also a little bit like the it. toll the toll that it takes on your hardware and also, like, the, the electricity cost to run something like that. Because it, like, I'm pretty sure it really strains your computer to do that. Yeah, it's, well, it's like running your computer on, like, it's like having a game running on max settings all the time. Like, it, it just yep. rips through your shit. But, mm -hmm. I mean, it's barely profitable anymore because there's so much competition for it. Um, but back in the day, it was, like, extremely profitable. Well, like, Bitcoin now Bitcoin is just blue. kind of, like... Almost like a stock. People just buy it and sell it. And yeah, which is stupid because you should never do that with currency. Um, yeah. It just it fucks with a lot of things. But I mean, I don't know because it's such a new currency. I think people kind of fuck with it. But like a lot of Canadians did that um, back in the day when uh, in two thousand like eight, um, Canada's economy was doing much better than U.S.'s. Like during that whole like crisis that most of North America had, um, mm. a lot of Canadians went and bought American currency when they were on par. Um, so they had their entire savings account in um, American, and then as the American economy like slowly healed over time, their you know a U.S. currency is now like forty percent more than ours. <coughs> so they just yeah. made an easy forty percent of their savings just by putting it back to Canadian. It's kind of fucked. The whole process. Did you guys of hear about the um, nuts? Did you guys hear about the GameStop and like AMC shit? Yep. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Shit's so funny. That's so odd. It's so fucking weird. <laughs> I love that. The thing is like, hilarious. The GameStop like, stock just like tripled in a all week All because or of memes. It's all because of fucking memes. That's <laughs> the best part. We have, like, the whole Reddit, like, community has ruined the lives of multiple billionaires because of memes. Mm -hmm. And that is fucking hilarious to me. Dude, the people, the hedge funds <laughs> that, like, invested in GameStop lost so, yeah, it's, so much money because of Reddit. It's been over, uh, been over, apparently it's been over $5 billion. Um, I did well, lose too money crazy. because so the way it, it's hard to explain. Um, actually, hold on. Let me find the tweet. Uh, if you guys can keep talking about my this cousin. Um, so my cousin is in the stock market. Like he deals with a lot of stocks and he, he explained it to me pretty simply last night. Uh, basically he said that, um, the basic, there's this fucking subreddit, subreddit full of people who Wall Street, it's called Wall Street like, bets. Yeah. So there's just full of people who are just have so much fucking money. And they just, they, they, something happened with a hedge fund with GameStop and like, that's, that's a specific subreddit fucking hates hedge funds. So we're like, fuck it, we're going to take, we're going to just start piling our money into GameStop. And when they were doing that, they were constantly the driving the price up. And then the, so GameStop went from like $15 a share to like 150 Is that not that like subreddit. illegal though for them to no, do that? It's, no, well, it, that's the thing. So the way it works is like. Okay, this is uh, actually a pretty good explanation. It's, it's, it's monkeys and bananas. So it's pretty simple of how of how this happened, like of how they mm, of of how they made uh, the stock go up so much. So let's say there's there's five bananas costing ten dollars. Uh, one Wait. ape on the market has all five bananas. All right, you you following? It doesn't matter if they're ten dollars each. Just it's ten dollars. Just ten dollars of value in five bananas. Um, okay, Mister Snake Man. Asked to borrow the five bananas for a bit, and instead he sells those five bananas, thinking the price will go down. It's it's called shorting, um, and he thinks he can buy them back later for less, giving them back to the ape, so he makes a profit. So he sells them again, hoping they lose value more because he sold them off, and he's shortening 
the or it's it's just the process called shortening. Um, but he sells them off, hoping they go down, buys it back, and then sells it again to Mr. Monkey. Does that does that somewhat make sense? Like he's just hoping to make a profit off of doing that. Mm-hmm. Um, but okay. apes notice that snakes are dicks, and they decide <laughs> to buy all the bananas on the market. So the snakes have no other choice other than to buy from the group of apes in order to return what they borrowed. So they owe these bananas, but the apes all bought all of the bananas. So now the snakes have to buy the bananas at whatever the big monkeys yeah. decide they're so worth. So they bought, they it's bought basically, the stock. If- you're basically buying back from someone you borrowed from. Yes. Mm. But the monkeys so are way higher price. So, so what, you're, what they're doing is basically they're hoarding all the bananas. something out, buying it back, and then marking the price up. Making it, it so the per- making it so the snake has to buy it to give yeah. it back to him. Yes. I see. So they, the so apes I, will never lose. So no, basically they, the, the, as long as all the apes are involved, yes. We have a lot of Reddit yeah. apes, which helped. So the hedge yeah. the hedge funds were buying they were borrowing the stocks at fifteen dollars a share. And because all those people from Reddit started buying a shit ton of GameStop stock, it drove the price up like crazy. And then the hedge fund didn't have those small fifteen dollar stocks to be able to pay back the people that they borrowed from. Now they had to buy it at a super high price and then to be able to return it back to the people they borrowed it from and it snowballs from so that they, too. They lost a lot of like them of having to buy them back snowballs it even more. So they literally are forced to buy them. And like yeah. the longer they wait, the more it goes up. Eventually it'll crash again <clears throat> because like GameStop is worth nothing considering yeah. they're going under. Mm-hmm. They've tried to sell mm-hmm. the company like four or five times now and nobody buys it. Um, but yeah, it's uh it's it's pretty fucking funny because a bunch of billionaires that are they're not technically doing anything illegal, but they're just manipulating um, a lot of markets, and it's just not it's 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 just not the right way to actually go about buying stocks and doing all that. Um, yeah. So it's kind of funny they're that they just got doing fucked it for over a good by reason, though, people. because like hedge funds are hedge funds are fucked. Oh yeah, like, they're, they're doing it they're because scum. they hate hedge funds. Yeah, yeah. and it's wild. GameStop and fuck GameStop. So yeah, nobody okay. really gives a fuck. It's just funny seeing like GameStop because it's like why why is GameStop going? And then you just like yeah, once you I realize love, actually what's happening, it's like it has nothing to do with GameStop. I love all the tweets that are just like, all right, boys, we're gonna get fucking Blockbuster next. <laughs> like, let's get popping. Yeah. <laughs> like people think that like a bunch of like old businesses are just gonna start booming on the stock market for no reason. Yeah, which honestly, some probably will. This will probably happen multiple times unless uh, unless the government does something about it. But there's really not much they can do. They froze. You can't buy or sell any. Uh, any game, uh, GameStop right now. Oh, really? Um, yeah, they've, Why? they've, because it's stupid. <laughs> if, if, so, if a regular person goes into the stock market and loses, everybody just says, oh, too bad. You fucked up. You lost money. That's a gamble you take. But when these massive billionaire fucking hedge funds lose money, they, they pause the whole stock market and are like, oh, sorry, guys. We'll, we'll fix it for you. It's so fucking stupid. Yeah. But yeah, that's essentially what happened. It's, it's pretty funny. So all those people that dump money into it, are they going to be able to get their money out? They made like a shit how ton long, of money. How long, oh yeah, no, there's well, how, <laughs> there's so many people that made a fuck ton of money from this, even though they were just memeing. But I mean, like, since it's frozen, they can't get their money out, uh, right? They they will be able to sell. It's it's just it's I don't know. It. They're yeah, they're they're trying to sort out how to do this because nothing like this has really happened, to my understanding. I'm not yeah. super knowledgeable on this shit. Um, this is just like from very little research. This is everything I've, I've, I've discovered. So I'm sure there'll be people in the comment section that'll explain it a lot better than any of us are. But yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. How is it not illegal though for them to just be like, hey, let's just make the price of this fucking triple? Because, because it's, it's a fucking ton hasn't of happened before. This and is like it, a new it, thing in the stock market. And it's well, like surely, millions uh, of people. I mean, surely like billionaires before have been like. <laughs> Telling their billionaire friends like, "Hey, we're all gonna go in on this one thing and make it skyrocket." Like, I'm sure this isn't. Oh, the they first have. That's, time. No, that's but that's very illegal because it's like if you're doing a small amount of like insider trading, like it's just when it's a small group. But this is literally millions of regular people. It's not like mm-hmm. an organized small amount of people that have an extreme amount of control. Um, but also that that does happen. What you just explained does happen quite often. It's technically illegal, but like it's 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 <clears> there. The one whole thing stock I can market isn't is like, even real, though. So it's like it's all fucking. Yeah. It's all. It's just stupid, to be honest. They could. They could also like uh, nuke the 
subreddit too. I doubt they'll do that because most of ninety percent of the time that subreddit is just like people like should I buy Tesla and then well, everyone's the saying no. The thing is scary is because because this happened, that subreddit knows their power now. <laughs> like they're, they're, that's good though. Why should like I feel like the yeah, only the people is, that should be scared. The only people that should be scared of common folk knowing how much power they have are billionaires. Like yeah, true, it's yeah. not gonna fuck the normal human being over. Just people who have like billions of dollars in the stock market. Like it, that's it. So it's not. It's not even a bad thing that they have that. Like they discovered this much power. And if they take down that subreddit, it's just gonna go somewhere else. And if yeah, anything, there people are just gonna talk about it. Because like, oh, this subreddit got taken down. It's just gonna spread more. Like there's honestly really not much they can do at this current time. So it's just it's just a mess. Well, it's funny. I need to get on that subreddit and keep Dude, my it, keep my it, eyes peeled for the next thing they want to boom for no reason. It is, it is actually well, a solid doing subreddit. It's a fucking ace. Yeah, AMC. Or yeah. AMC, yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking of Ace Hardware. <laughs> ace, ace Hardware is randomly booming. Ace is the place for you. Do, uh -huh. Wait, they're doing it to AMC? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because just they like thought it was just, funny. Like, like, that's it. That's, that's literally all it is. They think it's funny. It's a <laughs> meme to them. They're ruining yeah. billionaires' lives for fun. That's fucking hilarious. I love it. I don't know. I think it's fucking great, so. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> um, all right. We, what, how long have we been going? We, can, we, I should, we should do another topic. Yeah, yeah. Uno mas topico. All right, oh, um. Get a topic and a go on go. I saw uh, one, but I scrolled away from it. Ace's oh, <laughs> place with a hell of a hardware. Right. Um, who out of us do you think would be most likely to go to jail, and for what reason? Me, horse porn. <laughs> horse. <laughs> uh, 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 all right. <laughs> I would say probably maybe like. Probably soup and something related to guns. Oh, how did I know? Uh, how did I know it was gonna be fucking? Well, yeah. guns and like you're the only one out of us that has guns. So I don't know. I just like. Oh well, maybe that's one night you not just true. Get... You don't know if I have guns or not. I have guns. You literally told me that. Oh, you have guns? Oh, that's pretty hot. Yeah. Well, I'm from Missouri. <laughs> I don't own yeah, guns. True. I don't have any guns. Soup, you have a gun next to your desk at all times. I don't have any guns. <laughs> I've heard you okay. load it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any guns. <laughs> I've heard you shoot out your front window at the mailman. I do not own guns. <laughs> you know it's like legal to own guns. Yeah. Like you don't need to deny. Yeah. <laughs> didn't you? Didn't you specifically Unless? tell me to never tell the internet you don't have guns? No. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's happening. Okay, right now. I don't know what well, you're talking about. I have a gun. I feel like I'm an accomplice right now to something. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a gun. <laughs> I've actually never seen a gun in my life, so... I don't even know what that word means. Never even held a gun or shot one. I don't know anything that is about such them. Sorry. fresh horse shit. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, since Soup has never owned a gun, who, do you, who else do you think would be oh. the most likely to go to jail for something? Maybe McNasty. It for would be like, me. Okay, it would be me. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go to jail. I'm gonna get in a fight. I'm gonna get drunk and yell at someone, or someone's gonna say something to me and piss me off. I feel like I'm gonna. F I feel like it would be McNasty for like getting drunk and wiping his rank ass on like the side of a public yeah. building or something. Yeah, I could see McNasty being like a sex offender, but not an actual sex offender. Like he just peed <laughs> on a school. He's been right, right. Like I peed on like, a what, school. Like, yeah, like the indecent thing. exposure. You know that you, yeah, you will. You uh, are considered a, a sex offender if you like <laughs> pee on a park or like a school or something. Yeah, it's. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, him doing that. laughing at another reason. Oh, he's, he's, he's. I don't know. He's like <laughs> fucking blar. <laughs> I can see like nasty being a sex offender. <laughs> <laughs> just, I just, just says it so <laughs> casually. I, I uh, just, I could see not like from an actual. Nasty didn't even like try to defend himself. He just stayed quiet. Like <laughs> because he has know. wiped his ass on a school. What do you mean? And he, yeah, <laughs> and, and he's and he's. Yeah, but I was like ten when I did that. in a park too. And yeah, see, you're <laughs> telling me you wouldn't do that again at twenty-seven. No. Uh, Maybe yeah. I was drunk. <laughs> you would do it again. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, all, all right. It, well, that's that's, uh, that's my that's, answer. That's a great. Yeah. Jesus. I, I, I don't know. I don't think I've ever been, been to anything. jail. No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. You've well, been now to jail. We're, now we're talking about this. No. 
Oh, Would you do? I haven't well, been to jail. You, you, I'm just you, curious. Okay, well, you said it like we should you, have been yeah, to jail too. The tone like, of their voice. Man. No, I was just asking. Been to jail? Have you guys been? <laughs> yeah. to jail? I was asking. Have you have you guys like never been to jail? That's all I was asking. Oh, you guys no, have never been, been to jail, jail too, right? I don't leave my house ever. What do you go to jail for? <laughs> okay, I'm just wondering. <laughs> you guys uh, sound no. really uh, insecure for people who've never been to jail. No, I'm not an FBI list. No, what? <laughs> And that's been the Goons Podcast. Are we ending it on that? <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. The last, the last like twenty minutes of this podcast have been just sus. Just stock market. <laughs> Everyone's then, like, have you been to jail? Sussing and then each other out. <laughs> uh, well, that'll do. All right. Okay. Hope you had a good time. Like, Super comment, outro. subscribe, download. Oh, on Spotify. Spotify. Turn on the um, notification Please, bell. please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe because we're working please on. Please click on this video. Okay, well, you know, I'm trying to Go let them watch know. The latest that we're Goons Gaming video. Subscribe to Goons Gaming and watch us play Mafia for the 45th time. Watch us drive around New York City for a long time, long time, long time, long time. We're gonna drive one episode. Next episode, we're gonna drive. Okay, in this. Book. Well, I was gonna tell him something kind of cool, but now I'm, I'm not. So come on, just say. It. No, so just um, tell we're saving it. No, come they're not gonna on, hear just it. Say it. Just say it. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I love nope. when you're trying to do the like. And I'm just fat out of here. They'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> just a regular fat Albert, not even singing, on, just, just talking. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right, I I have okay. to go Goons look podcast. at a dead body now. Goons podcast. <laughs> They'll okay. never know. All right, see you guys. All right, <laughs> love bye. you guys. Goodbye. <laughs>